Excuse my dirty towel in the background. I'm a bum. We interrupt this program to bring you... I am willing to be the man to figure out how to become perfect. And all these years later, we still don't have the answers. <clears throat> all right. Um, oh shit, I'm going to clap this bitch on. Hello. Do this. Uh, oh, maybe like this. Yeah. So much of the time on Instagram, I always see this. I always see girls talking about what gives you the ick. You know, you know, what do you hate about a boy? And it made me wonder. No one ever talks about how great we are. Mm, that's hard to put on them. But it's never positive when it's girls talking about men. It's always negative. And I was wondering. Well, if we know all the negative things, what makes the perfect man? Is it money? He needs some money. Is it height? Height is one that girls always put at the top of their charts. Do you need to be above 6'2 to be perfect? He should be tall. <laughs> is it fame? Is it fame? I mean, clout is something that is very, very powerful in this generation is it fame do you need to to be someone to be looked at as perfect then at the same time i see a lot of girls talking about this toxic relationships and that normal nice boys are boring you know they like someone who puts them in check and puts them in their place and you know gives them a little ah, actually I'm, I'm gonna chill out with that i'm not gonna say anything but look there's a reason that all you girls <laughs> You like that shit. You like it, right? But yeah, what 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 does make the perfect man? Shit. I'm gonna have to ask some people. He's like respectful and if he's like a feminist. You don't wanna hear that! Someone who's respectful and Here we go again with this bullshit. No it isn't. Stop lying. Being funny, not being too cocky. Um never giving up. Who hurt me? Um, who didn't? Like, what the fuck? I just... <laughs> All right, sick. Uh, welcome back. So it's the next day, and uh, I went on Omegle, that great app. To uh, I don't know what my plan was on Omegle. I, you know, I tried to ask the questions, but they just didn't go to plan. I saw so many dicks, so many dicks. Just what's the point? When, when you're on there, the right, fuck? and you're stroking your shit, and you just... Some of them stayed, which is the weird oh, thing. No. Some of them saw me, knowingly knowing that I'm not a female, and carried on. It's quite disturbing. It's quite... It, you know, it's quite alarming when it... it you know, it, I actually think about it. You had got rejected that many times. So many women had skipped you that you were content with me. You was okay to finish over my face. That's disgusting. But yeah, I mean, I just... I guess lockdown's getting to people, you know? I mean, there's hubs, websites, uh, you could even just type boobs on, on Google Images and that'll come up. But uh, for some reason, you need to bust over me, a kid. I should call the police. I did get some answers though. I did manage to ask some questions, you know, uh, despite the amount of times that I got called a nigger. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah most of the girls just started capping most of them you know i asked them the question and they would just say the, the classic oh he's got to be funny he's got to be kind polite you know that's bullshit you 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 say that but that never equates to anything i'm the nicest person alive yeah i've been single for like uh, i've never had a girlfriend but yeah some of them told the truth you know some of them told me what it really is and uh well, I'll let you guys see. I mean, I don't look at it as your looks, but I prefer a cute dude. What, you put this on your YouTube channel? I was asking women uh, what makes the perfect man, which is perfect because there's three of them here. So, um, as I'm going to say, ladies, uh, check out recording. I think I am. Uh, I am. Uh, what makes the perfect man? Big dick. Oh my god, <laughs> Oh. 
Do you want to elaborate on that? What? Do you want to elaborate on that? Elaborate. What, like he knows how to make the bed in the morning? No, the sex is good. Fuck, Jesus, you just skipped right to it. No, like, play on the jokes. Like I was going to say, oh, he knows what pillows to get. And then I was going to say, he hoovers the room. You just went straight to it, huh? She's a horny one of the group, isn't she? She, she, okay, Jesus Christ. At least some people are honest. Hey, you know, at least some people don't bullshit. At least some people tell you truly what they want. Did you hear that? My doorbell. Who? Someone getting it. Because I'm not. I'm <laughs> I'm staying here. Yeah, I'd rather you be honest. I'd rather you be honest and, and genuinely tell us what you want other than just lying and, and, and saying all these things. Oh, we like this. We like... No, you don't. No, you don't. I might do another day of this. I don't know. Um, but just in case I don't do another day. See, I was going to ask some other people, but they want to do it the weekend. Today's Thursday. If I could edit this, if I could edit this together today, I can get this out by Friday. What do you guys think I should do? Should I just put it out now? Should fuck them? I should probably put it out now. I, realistically, it's what? It's not even 2 p.m. yet on a Thursday. If I edit this now, I can get this out today. Nah, I'm probably not gonna end up doing that. Nah, I'm not because you know what? I I I look at an edit and I'm not even talking about women anymore. I need the podcast, don't I? I need the podcast. I'm great at talking. Oh yeah, I met Kyle Kuzma. That's Kyle Kuzma. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, that nigga. He's he's he he really does look like Kyle Kuzma. That's wild. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of nice people on Omegle. Uh, I might be going back on there soon. If you if you do want to see me on Omegle again, you know, let me know. Uh, because it was an enjoyable experience, apart from all the stroking stuff. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna head out for now, and I'm gonna head back in. Uh in the same place uh because YBA dropped a video i'm gonna leave his link in the description it was titled what gives you the ick and uh i want to point out a prolific moment from well it's from the beginning of the video it's when a girl says and i quote when like they're like at a concert, concert and like jumping up and down, up and down. Oh. Do you know, like you know, when they're like, like raving yeah. no not oh, for me no. imagine that huh imagine that you you, you can't have fun anymore <laughs> you cannot have fun because having fun gives this woman the ick and if you give one woman the ick well then my friend you are not perfect i think the one thing i've learned is to be honest you can watch all of these little videos that you want that'll tell you how to get the woman that you want how to get the woman that you desire how to be the top alpha male you're never gonna master that whole perfection thing it it, it clearly it doesn't exist you know you do one thing that 50% of women like and 25% of them are gonna hate the only thing that you can do is Find what you want in a woman. Okay, take a look at yourself and 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 truly ask yourself What do I want and then once you found that what you found what you want find out what that woman or that type of woman wants in a man and don't change yourself because the moment that you change who you are is the moment that you lose yourself and lose who you truly will be but try to adapt Try to better yourself, if you will, to become the person that she needs you to be. Not, not the person that she wants you to be, the person that she needs you to be. That is really the only way you're going to be this perfect man. Because at the end of the day, the only person you need to be perfect for is your woman, right? You don't need to be perfect for every woman in the world because that doesn't exist. All women are different. Some women have the exact same taste for the rest of their life. Some women, their taste adapts and changes as they mature in life. And others just follow the fucking trends. And how are you going to cater to all three? You can't. It's impossible. So you do you. You get what you need. And watch The Incredibles because it's a banging film and why would you not do that? Hey, if, if you want to be perfect, watch The Incredibles and then listen to the soundtrack after it. That's the best tip I've ever given you. Visual Vaseline, truly out. Make sure you don't watch number two though because that's a feminist film. Oh fuck. <laughs> No, I'm joking. I'm fucking around. I'm fucking around. If you want to watch a feminist film, 
Uh, Princess and the Frog. It's quality. 